Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today I'm going to be talking about my January team beyond. Let's get going. I can't believe 2024 is already here. Like, I don't know what happened or why it happened or how it came, but it happened, y'all. 2024 is here. I hope you guys had a wonderful 2023. I hope you were able to read all the books that you actually wanted to read. So I know our TV audience long, 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 but I hope you managed to read some things that you really, really wanted to read. So, but yeah, but this year, um, I actually have a good feeling. I don't know what it is. I don't know when it will happen, but I got a pretty good feeling about this year. So. Yeah, but otherwise, let's get going to my team yard. And also, I'm hoping that I can finally complete my team yard. Um, I actually just released my finale of my Fire Wave. I can't believe I finished that trilogy. It's crazy. But I'm excited to write a new series. I'll give you a hint. It's something like Harry Potter, but without the school, and it has a magical realism. That sounds fun. I am excited for it. So my first book is A Curious Tide by Pascali Laquelle. So, Emily might be a student at the prestigious Aldrin's College for Lone Art Magics, but her healing abilities have always been medical at best. Until a treacherous night in a Dovermere sea caves kills a group of her classmates and leaves her as the only survivor. Now Emily is plagued by strange and possible powers that no healer should possess. Powers that would ruin her life if the wrong person were to discover them. To gain control of these new abilities, Emily enlists the help of the school's most inclusive student, Buzz, a boy already well versed in the deadly nature of dark magic, whose sister happened to be one of the drowned students and Emily's best friend. Determined to find the truth behind the drownings and a cult-like secret society she, she's convinced her classmates were involved in, Emily is faced with even more questions and when the supposedly drowned students start washing ashore alive, only for each to immediately die a horrible, magical death. That sounds really fun and kind of interesting, actually. My next book is The Scarlet Alchemist by Kylie Lee Baker. And Zilla dreams of becoming a royal alchemist, of providing her family by making alchemi alchemical gold and gems for the wealthy to eat in order to stay young forever. But for now, she's trapped in an impoverished village in southern China, practicing an illegal form of alchemy to keep food on the table, rescuing the dead for a price. When Zelen finally has a chance to complete her imperial exams, she ventures to the capital to compete against the best alchemist. In the country in Taos, she will be lucky to survive, let alone pass. On top of that, her reputation for raising the dead has followed her, and the crown prince himself seeks out her for her help, suspecting a coming assassination attempt. So that really sounds fun. My next book is Burn Our Bodies Out by Rory Power. Ever since Margaret was born, it's been just her and her mother. No answers to any of Margaret's questions about what came before, no history to hold on to, no relatives to speak of, just the two of them stuck in the run-down apartment, struggling to get along. But that's not enough for Margaret. She wants family, she wants a past, and she just found a key she needs to get it. A photograph pointing her to a town called Falleen, pointing her home. Only when Margaret gets there, it's not what she bargained for. Ooh, that sounds really interesting. And my last one is The Grimoire of Great Fates by Hannah Alcalf and Margaret Owen. Crack open your spell book and enter the world of the Illustrious Galileo Academy for the Extraordinary. A prestigious school for young sorcerers, the Galileo Academy has recently undergone a comprehensive overhaul reinventing itself as a warming academy in which students of all cultures and identities are celebrated. In this, in this new Galileo, every pupil is welcome, but some people aren't so happy with the recent changes. That includes everyone's least favorite professor, Septimus Dropworth, a stodgy old man known for his harsh rules and harsh short punishments. But when a professor's body is discovered on school grounds under mysterious circumstances, the academy students must solve the murder themselves before the lens of suspicion turns on them. So those are all the books I want to read for January. Let me know what you guys want to read and 
I'm really hoping that you guys have a really good reading year this year. I think I did pretty good for my last year in 2023. So I think I did pretty good. But um, yeah, it is sad to see my decorations go. I don't want to take them down. <laughs> but please let me know what your TV is. And please like, comment, subscribe. So you'll be notified every time I post. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.